So today we're working on the shop. We're getting the rest of the fascia and soffit put on on the uh, the north side of the building. That's all that's left with that. Um, we're still waiting on a material to get this roof finished. As you can see, we got all the framing done. Um, the window guy came out and measured, so we gotta get those windows in. That'll probably take a couple weeks to get in. Um, but yeah, once that's done, we can start getting all the rest of the electrical run. We can get all the, wow, it just got really dark on me. Uh, there we go. All right, so once we get that done, the rest of the electrical, plumbing, and all that jazz. The plumbing's in, just waiting on the inspectors and all that fun stuff. But um, what am I doing right now? I'm waiting on the crew, and I'll show you. I am taking all this old wire we have from the building. I'm cutting it out of this exterior sheet thing, and I'm sure there's some kind of lingo for what this is called. I don't know. I just call it stripping wire, but... Uh, the exterior? I, I don't know. I don't know. I've never done this before. So, as you can see, I've already started. And for those of you not familiar with uh, wire, like I'm really not, you cut this stuff open. And this is old. This is the older stuff. The stuff you guys might have seen nowadays is kind of similar to that. But you cut it open. It's got three strands of wire in it. It's got the uh, the bare metal, which is just like the copper, and I guess that's the ground wire. And then um, it's got these other wires. So I'm just stripping it down to this right now, and then I'm going to try to strip it down further to get it down to clean copper because the cost I guess that you get when you recycle it is a lot more so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take all this and then we have all the scrap I mean that's not scrap we're still using that but like all the scrap aluminum and all this stuff I got the old air conditioning units that we had I got some copper pipes from the plumbing um, there wasn't much plumbing in this place but as you can see I've been saving all the kind of the metal and the aluminum and and copper I'm gonna get all this stuff cleaned up and then I'm gonna take it all to the scrap yard and see how much money I get out of it I'm going to get stripping this wire here, and how I'm doing that is I'm just taking a razor blade and cutting this open, and then pulling it out and making a mess. But I'm going to do that while I'm waiting on Micah Crew, because we're going to finish this uh, this fascia and soffit today, hopefully, and then I will go from there. But anyways, guys, I'll catch you later. I'm going to go get some work done, and uh, well, there's going to be more stuff added to this video, so I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm going to say see you on the next frame. All right, guys, so we've been busy all day today. Not only have I been inside stripping more wire, but we've been getting some more uh, work done on the outside here. Let me give you a quick view of what we've done. What we have done. We're civilized human beings here. All right, so we've continued this uh, handicap ramp going down. Um, basically, I think before we stopped it, right around where that nice ice warm sprite is. Um, so we got to continue that down and finish that, to probably get that done tomorrow. Uh, finish that deck, but if you look up top We finally have all that soffit trimmed on back here. This still had a little rotted wood still need to get the gutters uh, But all the soffit trim is done all the way around the building So we got that nice uh, stuff going on still waiting on these windows these white windows still need to be replaced Everything is taking forever guys. It's been Shoot, I think the front window the first quote I got they said it's gonna probably take like three to five weeks to get in so I mean it is what it is I know everyone's got issues because of the uh, the shutdowns and everything so hopefully everything catches back up but um, yeah it probably you know that's gonna push us back a little bit we still need to finish that uh, roof there we can't find the, the ISO board to, to do that so we're probably gonna have to build the uh, angle out of wood which is gonna obviously cost a lot of money because woods expensive but just another day in the life of trying to get this place up and running so but it's getting there it's getting there every day it's a little bit more at a time and uh yeah, we'll get there so i'm gonna go home take a shower because it is nasty out here it's humid and blech. anyways guys we'll see you later all right guys it's dark out it's probably what 10 o'clock 9 30 oh you can't tell that shadowy figure there's mike <laughs> we are working on the ceiling in the attic because it's so hot out during the day what better time to go into the attic which is stifling hot than when it's uh 60 degrees or 75 degrees out instead it's still hot up here um yeah we're just running all these across so we'll have someone to hang the, the drywall for the ceiling and put the lights there's a attic fan i still need to get all this stuff from the novelty shop out of here still some of the stuff from this place when it was a novelty shop but that is what we're working on now it is dark out and late. Oh, and this is why it looked weird when I was coming up the step. I was trying to climb underneath this wood that Mike decided would be a good place for it. There's a buzzard over here. We haven't named him yet. He needs a name. He's just pacing back and forth. There he goes. He's huge. He doesn't look like it from here, but he's, I mean, if you see the door, he's, he's pretty big. He's just been doing this for the last, what, five, six minutes? Yep. Pacing back and forth. Oh, two, three, four, get your butt down there and eat something dead. All right, well, we're going to go back to work. 
never seem to run out of uh, things I need wood for in this building. Should hopefully be the last of it for a while until I get those chases or the um, parapet walls on the roof. But got a little energy. Got my bathroom fans and a bunch of studs. Including this stud. Yeah, you heard it here first. Alright guys, we're here at the shop getting a little more work done. I know we haven't done a video or an update video in a while, so I figured I'd do a quick walkthrough and show you guys what we have going on. But first, let's look here at my massive scrap pile. I've showed you guys the scrap. I was uh, starting to strip all the wire, so I'm going to take all the rest of the scrap back too. We got some aluminum, some steel. These are just going back to the store. Those are all 10 cents each here in Michigan. And no, that can light is not going. So we got the electrician's been in here. He's got everything wired up. He's coming back one more day and then get the inspection, but this is all temporarily in here. Um, as you can see, we got the, the half wall here for the steps. There's a lot of little minor things that we've been getting done, just trying to get stuff done. We were out here the other day in, what was it, like 100,000 degrees outside, trying to do these steps. We got that done. It's very, very humid and hot and nasty. And then, uh, like I said, we got the steps, the framing. We got all that done. Here's the rest of the scrap pile. You guys saw I was starting to strip all that wire. I didn't get very far. I started doing it. I got all the, the bare copper there, but... We got all the other stuff that's going back. I'm taking that today. All this is copper. I wanted to wait till the electrician's finished. Uh, just take it all at once because I don't want to go twice. And then we got all this. So I want you guys to guess. I don't know if it's going to be at the end of this video or maybe it'll be another video. I want you guys to guess in the comments how much money in metal we're going to get out of this building. Like I said, I'm trying to recoup money uh, from the scrap here. We've sold the old doors that were in the building. I've sold old lumber that was in the building that we're not going to use. So we're trying to make a money back uh, as much as we can. But we got today, and I'm going to show you what we're doing over here. This is my handiwork. I built this, and I'm not I'm not Builder Bob, obviously. And that's a nice-looking rectangle with a, a 2 by 4 and don't get me wrong. I mean, that's that's handy and fancy and all that stuff, but it was supposed to look like that. My buddy said we just needed to frame it up for drywall, and I built that monstrosity when that's what it was supposed to look like. And then over here, we are going to be putting some shelving around this uh, brick and leave the brick exposed. But here we go. He's going to... There, there. Nailing that thing in. This is Brian. Brian's helping with uh, some of the carpentry stuff. Now, Brian is semi-famous, right? Now, you were on, what was the show called? Treehouse Masters. So, uh, we helped uh, do a couple TV builds and uh, worked in uh, five different states. So, you were on TV, right? For a half a second. I was almost famous. Almost. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, Brian, uh, we met through the group. I was looking for some help to come down here, and he's a local guy, and he... Uh, came out here and he's making some decent money trying to put together nonsense here now he does finish trim but he's also helping with some of this stuff but since you're in the group obviously you have some like nostalgia or some toys and stuff you collect what do you i mean tell tell everybody at home what yeah. you collect well <laughs> i got in uh, star wars my older brother eight years older i used to bite the heads off his guys and <laughs> they back up a little bit my dad started buying us uh doubles of everything so once I started getting my own, I stopped biting the heads off. And smart, smart. So I started collecting <laughs> toys. So, and then it moved on to like GI Joes. Like you know, back in '84, we used to go up to Kmart get our uh, Detroit Tiger Slurpee cups. Yep. And, uh, so we actually graduated the same year. So all the stuff that you're talking about, stuff that I appreciate, and stuff that I have a lot of uh, fine memories yeah. of. So yeah, just for hanging out a couple times, we have so much. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, that's the cool thing about toys and nostalgia and collectibles in general. Because it, it may, there's so many things you might disagree on something, but you can always go back to when you're a kid and you know always have something kind yeah. of thing going on. But and then, then moved on to the video games, and then the bicycles. And yeah, because you, you collect like BMX bikes, right? Yeah, I collect uh, BMX and uh, restore them. And I don't really sell them often I'm kind of order you know but <laughs> I like my trophies after I take them all apart a collector them, we go by collector not hoarder collect. in these parts <laughs> right on. yeah but yeah and I like the you know Captain you showed me some pics I mean you have a ton of bikes yeah so I showed him the one we found in the 80s house in the basement he was like what was that what you uh, looked it up it was a uh, 81 yeah 81 uh, mongoose competition yeah so we're gonna work a deal on that yep. um yeah. So. but yeah so I'll show you guys the rest of what we get get back to work all right. Just I'm kidding. I, I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll show you what else we got done. Like you, I showed you, we got the steps done here. They don't squeak. They're actually, uh, you know, glued and nailed down. Before we just had them temporarily run. As you can see the electricians have been here. All this stuff is wired. We got our half wall in here. Um, once the electricians come back, which I believe is uh, tomorrow, if they get this finished up, then we'll get the inspection done. We're going to do the same thing up here. We're going to chase this out. Um, the shelves so you can see the brick. It'll look really nice, I think. Got the little office, you guys have seen all this, but up in the attic, 
You could probably hear it, but that's the attic fan running. That thing is sucking the heat out of this room. It's actually cooler up here than it is downstairs. I think it's because it's insulated and uh, we got that attic fan running. Actually, I should probably shut that window. It's been raining out. We were using that to get some air up here uh, not too long ago, but a couple more things to do up here. We just need to put some nailers on this. Um, for the drywall guy, we need to figure out what we're gonna do with that, probably chase that out. This is gonna stay exposed, but that's uh, that's that, guys. We're moving along and uh, We'll keep you guys updated on what's going on. Hopefully once we get that uh, inspection on the electrical, then we can do the insulation, get that inspection done, throw up the drywall and uh, go on from there. Still gotta get this roof done. I had two roofers out, one today and one yesterday. So hopefully we get that knocked out. Open this toy store up. All right guys, I'll catch you next time. And remember, let us know what you think as far as how much money we're gonna get out of scrap in the comments below. Make sure you do it right after you hit the subscribe button. All right guys, we'll catch you. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right, you're probably wondering why there's a uh, sp spilled frozen orange drink in the parking lot. This beautiful new parking lot. Ah. Eli, we have you to thank for that. <laughs> so this is Eli. He's my buddy, uh, Brian's friend, who was into BMX bikes. And uh, Brian checked out this BMX bike that we pulled out of the 80s house and said that Eli might be interested in it. And uh, tell us about it, Eli. You're the bike expert. I have no clue. I just know it's BMX. 81 Mongoose with Tough Twos. What's Tough Twos like? Is that the tire? It's uh, the mags. Okay. Um... Uh, Original with the chain guard and all the reflectors and stuff, you know, we used to kick off as soon as we got them home. Do you do tricks and stuff? No, I don't bounce. Come on, dude. No, one trick. No, You're lucky no. there's no air in the tires. Oh, yeah, Come no on. Air in the tires. There you go. <laughs> That'd be the deal. You have yeah. to do uh <laughs> No air in the tires. Man. So what's something like this go for? Like if this uh, thing was like in minty shape, I guess. Cleaned up. Yeah. Uh, 700. Wow. So in this condition, it's probably what? Four or five hundred bucks. A couple hundred, yeah. Yeah. Fifty seven cents, why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we've already worked out a deal on the bike, but so you collect these, right? How many of this yeah. how many of these do you have? Like I have uh, eighteen. Eighteen of this like BMX style bikes yeah. or just they're yeah. all different? Or are they dupes or um, what? I, I collect uh, a brand called Torker. Okay. Is that twin, twin top too? Okay. Is that uh, similar to this one or no it, well it's a BMX bike, but it's it's instead of this one singular tube, it has two. Okay. It's the original freestyle bike. Sweet. Without you? Torker, we would have no Bob Harrow. Really? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Or no Bob or no <laughs> Harrow Master. Are those uh, bikers? The uh, Harrow Master is the iconic freestyle bike of 1984. Okay. So started that's... this started the freestyle trend. Really? Yeah. Now is that someone who wrote, or is that the name of the bike? I'm ignorant of this Haro stuff. Bob Harrow is the guy who wrote Torker. Okay, so he's like Tony Hawk of the freestyle there world. Go. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Yep. Did he have a video game? That's no. why I don't know. Him. No. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so now you collect. Why do you collect these? Is it just something you? Uh, you know, my parents wouldn't buy me the good bikes when I was a kid. They just <laughs> buy me Huffies and Murrays. Yeah, that was me, Huffy and Murray kid. So now that I'm in my, well, we'll just say later, early sixties, kid area. <laughs> uh, now I can afford somewhat the bikes that I wanted when yeah. I was a kid. So now you collect other stuff too, right? Oh yeah, Transformers, G and everything that I grew up with. So you're like me, you collect the stuff you remember when you were a kid just because yeah. it just brings back, I think it brings you back to a simpler time when you were a oh, kid yeah. and all that stuff. You know, that's why I love finding this stuff. I love digging this stuff up, so. Oh yeah. But you're gonna clean this bad boy up, you said, right? So yeah. you're gonna have to bring it back after. I wanna see what this thing looks like all polished up clean. Oh yeah, it'll be about Get some a air week. in the tires, yeah? About a week. About a week? Yeah. Sweet. So we're gonna check that thing out. And you think this thing will hold air set, you said, right? I'm betting it will. Yeah. And I'll tell you honestly. I bet you're an doesn't. orange Julius there. Ah, <laughs> damn! Rub that in my face again. A little bit. I wish <laughs> the camera was rolling. He dropped that <laughs> as we were walking out here. But, but uh, yeah, she, she's gonna look really good and uh um, I'll get her to shine again. That'll be number 19, huh? Yep. So yep. I'll keep an eye out for this kind of stuff. So you collect any kind of like 80s parts, era? Parts, anything. All right, Even sweet. the old jerseys and the magazines. Oh, okay. BMX action. And anything like that. All that stuff, yeah. It's awesome. I have a bunch more bikes out. They're all buried right now, but I'll have to show them. You know all about like different styles of bikes. Oh, yeah. Like I got pedal Same cars, ways, pedal bikes. Cars. I got all that stuff. Kick I'll have, goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to get all that stuff out here, and uh, oh, yeah. you could go over it and show everybody. I'll show everybody what we have, and you can explain what it is yeah, and talk awesome, to them. You're like a bike dude. expert, so I don't want to say an expert. You're, okay, you know more about bikes than me. Okay, that's okay. not saying much. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna let Eli get this thing loaded up and. I'm gonna get the hose out and rinse away his delicious, delicious. But that melted fast, man. That dropped like I started the video three, four minutes ago. It's already gone. It looks delicious. It was. I mean, I'm thirsty. I know. I, I go get another one. <laughs>